welcome to the hot and spicy different location. Ice cold. Something different today. Crispy duck pancakes. There's the crispy duck all shredded. There's three chicken mini fillets which I've bought from uh, where did I get them? Sainsbury's. Yeah. We're having plum and hoisin sauce. Now you're supposed to use spring onion with these pancakes but uh, I like it a bit stronger so I'm using red diced onion I've just diced that now so I'm just go ahead and uh, use your gotta use your fingers well I do so I get some how's the week gone I hope you going I hope it's going okay bit of onion just bear with me and I'll show you in a minute what I'm doing uh, so, uh, nice change. Spot of hoisin, plum and hoisin. This isn't hot or nothing like that, but uh, don't need a lot of this. There we go. And uh, that's a wrap. You can see it. So you just carefully. And tuck in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love duck. That's very nice. Nice change. You haven't anything this week? Mm -hmm. That onion, much better for my taste. Cheers. Well, it's been a busy old few weeks, I tell you. Mm. Something on every day, practically. Um, and that's with work as well. <laughs> Mm. And um, I've been meaning to do these updates on the tomatoes. Um, I had a bit of a mishap as well with the, one of the tomato plants, but thankfully. That was three, was it three, maybe four days ago. But it seems okay, um, hopefully. And it was uh, the result of it being outside, really. It doesn't matter. Let's see how it goes. But uh, I'll show you um, this, well, if not this weekend, into next week. I'll do a quick, just a, with a vlog, I'll do an update. And the mouse and the bird, I haven't forgot that footage. I might, I might do a bit of a sort of a update of the tomatoes, um, the mouse and bird, bit of music, and then a vlog, something like that. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. You're not in a rush for it, are you? Let's, let's, you're not sitting there all week, are you waiting? Let's face it. Not when you got the fantastic things on telly. Not. Right. I'd like to thank a few people. In advance, I haven't tried it yet. Tell me, go to Aldi's, go to Aldi's, they do a sun blush there, just the same as Tesco's. So I thought, right, okay, go we'll transit. Now it looks exactly the same, well, nearly. And I thought, can I cook it the way I used to cook, just to get that fluffiness with the crisp? So let's try. There's the fluffiness, let's see if it's got the crisp. And the taste. Mm. Mm. 
Now I'd have to say that's very, very close. Mmm. Fantastic. Thank you very much. One thing I will say, there's a lot more of this than the Tesco one. This is more of a pizza size, where Tesco is a sort of a overly size. Very nice. In honesty, it's not far off. Tesco's that. Very nice. Thank you. For you people that told me that. Just making another... Um, I mean, look at this piece of duck. Oh, wow. Onion. Oh, a bit of more hoist in, shall we? Um, I want to thank somebody as well. I was given a, a hot sauce. And uh, I'll come to that in a minute. Now this here, there's a technique to this, you know, wrapping. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. And there's no room for the hot and spicy sign. And also, um, I'm going to say about the last video too, I haven't replied to the comments, guys. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's just a couple of weeks with, well, both channels. So you go, but very lucky to have them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not ungrateful in any shape or form. Thank you so much. But you may not get a response to them. I read them. Some weeks I'll have that for me. I just haven't got the. I don't know, there's not enough hours in it. That needs to calm it down a bit. But it's not doing stuff. It's the stuff that has to be done with no choice, if you know what I mean. Um, a close family member was admitted to hospital this last week. And then um, I've had to do a lot with that. So, um, well, I haven't had to do, you know what I mean? You do your thing, don't you, your family? And so that's part of the thing. But they're much better. It was a chest infection, much better. And then um, hopefully it should be out next week. So we'll see how it goes. Very close, very nice. Aldi's sun blushed. Now, as you notice, I got some chicken. These are mini fillets from Sainsbury's, hot and spicy. Um, let me see, all right. It's a funny nice one. Um, I mentioned a while back, I met a chap, um, as I was delivering, he was doing his job. He said, oh yeah, okay, I made a chap. And he's got a YouTube channel called Basher Bushcraft. It's from Denby, the good old town. And um, I'll put a link to his channel if you like Bushcraft. And he's not a, a regular uploader. Well, at the moment, because he's busy with work and he's got his family and other, other commitments. But um, he has got videos on there and he will upload, I suppose, when he's got a chance to do so. And he gave me this. He said, uh, watching some of the hot and spices. He said, try this, he said. Look at that. Now, it says there, 
hot original pepper sauce. Hot, is that dodgy dog? Or doggy dog, dodgy dog. Um, I've taken the seal off. And I think he's gonna, gonna kill me as well because it's nearly a year out of date. And <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm gonna try it. Um, Boy, you can smell. It smells a uh, less. It smells like it's got a kick. Now this has come from a an army ration pack, and I don't think a few years ago they had them in them. <laughs> so we're going to basically try it. Never tried it before. Let's see what this is like. Mm. Nice, what I call a smooth tingle, nice heat. Mm. That's nice, that, won't they? Oh, I'm not, have I got something similar? Yeah, I got something similar to this, and I can't think what it is. It could be this, which the army use. Lovely tingle. Nothing to blow your head off, but if you just like a kick, that's good stuff. Cheers for that. Very, I've forgotten your name. That's arrogant, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, bash up bush, bushcraft. God, that's bad. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, no. He went to Edil, enjoyed it. Do you want to change your exhaust, pal? And if you're wondering what the, what's you going on about Edil, it's um where a lot of uh, bushcrafters and stuff meet every year, and um. For a sort of a long weekend, and um, they take stuff they want to sell, bushcrafty stuff, whatever, camping, glamping, vamping, um, whatever you want to call it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try some of this. I need to sort got the duck and the onion. Yeah, and uh, that's lovely. Uh, yeah, they meet up and they sell stuff, they make stuff, you know, all sorts of stuff there. And I think the same weekend is the Bushcraft Show, which is about 50 mile away from here or something. So what some people do is they attend the Bushcraft Show for a couple of days and then they might go to the Edale meet for a couple of days or whatever. Mm. But I'm really... Fancying, I've got some ideas for my. I've got a people carrier car, all the seats come out. And I've mentioned this a long while ago. In here, I've got the layout, I know to do the windows. Well, they're dark windows anyway, they're black windows at the back and the sides. What they call privacy glass. That came standard. Um, I got some silver reflectics they call it, but in a roll you buy it from the somewhere like B and Q. Cut it out. That would do for the windows. Um, a camping bed and maybe a lake on box. Um, and that would be pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty. I've already had one. Pretty much it. Something along them lines. Which means I can take everything out. It's back to a car. May not go for months. But if I do go somewhere. Bed. Lake on box. Gear. Sleep. Thanks very much. Because this vamping or glamping or whatever you call it. It's getting the older I get. More enticing. 
up. Bless it. I still enjoy the old camps on the go now, yeah. I'll tell you, I've, I've never tried, I've got two hammocks. Uh, stuff in that garage you've not seen, I tell you. But, a couple of hammocks. Both DD as well, I think. I've used one. I'm a bit wary how I was going to sleep. I wasn't sure how it would be the most comfortable night's sleep I've ever had. Very nice. I got under blankets again. Do you know what I found the other day, looking through stuff? Was, um, this is lovely this. Even though it's a bit out of date. No, oh, it's good stuff. Man. Hey, I've known someone eating a corned beef. Was it a tin of corned beef? From the Second World War rations. And he said it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, got to get on my head now. Oh, I hate that. That's my fault, moving one thing to the other. Subject. Um, yeah, come back to me now. Oh! What I found in the galley, I think. What they call a softy. Suit, softy trousers, softy jacket. I mean, it's you again. It's like um, can you say like a puffer jacket, like a. I hope you use it at night. Well, to stay warm. Good stuff. I think it's like fleece or filled, like um, lined trousers and jacket. Beautiful. This is nice hot sauces. Right, the old, the old town. So yeah, thanks, Basher Bushcraft. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Much appreciated. I'm very embarrassed. I can't remember your name, and it's on the tip of my tongue. What should we have now? Oh, go on, another one. And to be fair, you get a lot of, a lot of. Well, you get half a duck. In the pack is about five pounds in money, is it? Five, six pounds in money. Half a duck. Now some do a whole thing, they do the um these, the duck, and this, or a sashi. Not in this case, just the duck. To buy these separate. And this separate. When I'll use that again, I don't know. Um we'll go down well, we'll use it now, shall we? Then I'll, I won't let I won't keep you. Do you know what he said then? I won't let you go. <laughs> oh, don't leave me, please. Um, I've been very lucky as well. YouTube, have, you know, people complain about YouTube. A lot of things changing and things like that. This last couple of weeks, I've had some notifications of changes. You will have had them probably. As from July forget the date you won't be able to send a private message to anybody they're getting rid of that feature as it's not used often enough it's a shame that really so you'll have to send emails or whatever but um that feature is going um i've had a couple of uh, new features if you like added on my paul h channel which i can now use didn't know they existed. Whether I use them, I don't know. Um, I'll look into them. I wanted to use, well, I am, sorry, another one. Lovely. Using uh, some music tomorrow, in tomorrow's shave. Which I shouldn't use because it's very famous and it's highly copyrighted. But they've allowed it. Um, 
Fair play to him. But all the rights still go to the music company, you know. Quite happy with that. Very impressed. Just as good. Right. Leave you to it. Nice change. Nothing spicy in the crispy duck. Um, but this stuff, lovely. Nice tingle. A nice bit of a kick. Nice change. Gone on a treat. That's the last drop of the first cam. There'll be many more of them going. What's that? Natalie said. Sorry, Natalie, forgot. Pork chop. Psst, chops. Tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I was meant to go, funny enough, tomorrow to a, an event w with the Tibetan monks, which is happening. And um, we were looking forward to going. We've been a couple of times before to support them and um, the charity, whatever. But um, with this family member in hospital, um, I think um, I'll be going. I'll know. I'll know properly in the morning. But uh, I'll be going there to the hospital, so we can go to that event. It's typical in this. But um, never mind. Pork chops, steamed Jersey Royals, carrots, marrow fat peas, lashentos of gravy. And um, if I'm not going to the hospital, well, if I'm not going to the hospital, I'll be going to the event, so there's no cider or lager. Just Yorkshire tea. Um, maybe a few drinks later on when I come back. Have a good weekend. Sorry. Happy Father's Day for tomorrow to all the dads and um, that's it, another hot and spicy over. Sorry to go on but uh, I haven't seen you for a while, I missed you. What to tell you see, even though a lot of it's crap. Many thanks and um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Over and out. Good timing.